He served as President Daniel Moy's second vice president and the fifth vice president since independence. This week on the cabinet, we focus on Dr. Josphat Karanja, who left his position as the vice chancellor of University of Nairobi to join active politics. Dr. Josephine Karanja was the second vice president to serve under Moy and the fifth since independence. Before moving his political base to Madare, Karanja tried vying for the Gidungori parliamentary seat twice without success. At the time, the seat was occupied by Arthur Magogo. The opportunity for Karanja to win a seat in parliament presented itself when the Madara member of parliament went into exile in Sweden. Once he won the election, the way was clear for Moy to appoint him vice president in place of Kibaki. In 1988, President Daniel Arap Moy picked him to replace Moy Kibaki as vice president of the Republic of Kenya. Karanja occupied the VP position briefly between 1988 and 1989. He was replaced by another university don, Professor George Sai Toti. Karanja was an accomplished educationist and diplomat of high standing who had lived abroad. At age 33, he had become the country's first and youngest High Commissioner to Britain, a post he held between 1964 and 1970. Britain was then the most important economic partner of Kenya, its former colony. He then became Vice-Chancellor of the University of Nairobi at age 40, replacing Dr. Arthur Porter. In 1970 to 1979, Dr. Karanja served as the first vice chancellor at the University of Nairobi. In 1979, Karanja is remembered for his tenure at the university, a period referred to as the heydays of the university, during which black student enrollment increased by large numbers. His liberal and Western inclination opened the university to many changes, including encouraging women to acquire higher education. In 1992, Karanja moved back to his home constituency of Gidungori and won the parliamentary seat. In 1993, Karanja was arrested and arraigned on charges of inciting the public against the government. He died on 28 February 1994 at the age of 63. Jackie Wambiru, The Cabinet.